Hi, this video is to go over the three examples that I did in class on in, uh, graphing a circle. At the top in the box here, I have what some books may call the general form for an equation. I like to call it the center radius form because the center is HK, which is behind the minus signs or the subtraction signs, and the R right here is the radius. This one, number one, is already in the correct form. I think it's good to list what you know, the center and the radius first, and then graph it. My center would be negative two and positive four. We take the opposite of what's inside because we have a minus sign in our equation here. The radius is the square root of 36, which is six. So then if I'm gonna graph it, I will plot the point negative two, four, two to the left and four up. And if my radius is six, I'll go six in all directions. So I'll go six to the right, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six down, six up, one, two, three, four, five, six. And when I say up, I mean from the center. Two, three, four, five, six, six to the left. And then I will roughly sketch in my circle. Now that's the kind that I like. When we go to example two, uh, this one is not in what I call center radius form. So I need to complete the square to do that. To do that, I first need to organize. I need to put my X's together first. So I'll put this guy and this guy together. X squared plus six X. Then I actually leave a blank. Then I'm gonna put my Y terms together, my Y squared and my negative four Y. And then again, I will leave a blank. This negative 12, I will take to the other side because it's neither an X term or a Y term of any sort. So when I bring that over, that negative 12 would become positive 12. Hopefully you remember from Algebra 2 to complete the square, you take half of this term and square it. Half of six is three, three squared is nine. So I'm gonna add nine on this line. Half of negative four is negative two and negative two squared is four. Now, I can't just add a 9 and a 4 to one side of the equal sign. So if I added 9 and 4, that means I added 13 to the left. I will need to add 13 to the right to make it balanced. This right here, x squared plus 6x plus 9, would factor into x plus 3 times x plus 3, which I just simply write as x plus 3 squared. This right here would factor into y minus 2 times y minus 2, which is y minus 2 squared. 12 plus 13 is 25. Now I have what's called center radius form, which is what I like to call it. I'll list the center, which again would be the opposite, so what's in parentheses, which would be negative 3, positive 2, my radius would be 5 because that's the square root of 25. So now I'm going to draw a quick sketch. Center is negative 3, 2. It's 3 to the left and 2 up. And if my radius is 5, I will go 5 in each of the four directions from that point. So if I go 5 right, I'll be here. 1, 2, 3, 4. If I go 5 down, I'll be here. 5 to the left, and 5 up, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and I will roughly sketch in my circle. Not quite, not bad, but not quite as easy as number 1. Last one I'd like to do is example 3. We all know that a, a circle is a set of all points an equidistant from the center. That distance is called the radius. Uh, in this case, I got the center, that's beautiful. I don't have the radius, but I happen to have another point that's on the circle. So if I can find the distance between these two, here's my distance formula, I can find the radius. So distance equals square root, my x values are two and five. So I'll go two minus five squared plus, my y values are negative three 
minus the other one, which is 1, squared. 2 minus 5 is negative 3. Negative 3 squared is 9.